Hey guys, welcome back to another video. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, I was eating a Skittle and I just choked. That will teach me for eating a Skittle while I'm doing my voiceover. So, um, this set is a ombre set um, with some designs on some blings, a little bit of sugar in. You'll see here I have applied my Glitter Planet um, Stiletto Tips, cut off the top, done a clear layer of um, clear acrylic, and now I'm just applying a really thin layer of the um, Snow White from CJP. Um, I like to keep my ombre really, really thin. And then I cap in clear just to make sure we don't, um, we don't file away the blend. So now I am applying um, Peach Sorbet, I think, from CJP. I'm just patting it into place. And then when I'm happy with it, just really gently... Um, pulling the product down to create the blend. Um, I go out of a shot a little bit on this video. I'm really sorry, guys, but you can kind of see what I'm doing here. This is just my clear. I'm not putting over the whole of the pink, um, because I built my apex in my pink, so I am literally covering the blend and the white. I like to cover the white because I think it. Um, I don't know. I always think it looks nicer if you cover the white um i don't know why maybe it's in my head but anyway <laughs> um so i'm going to do this on all fingers um you see here again how thin that white is i almost use it as like a paint um i'm not getting any thickness with my white at all um some people do um some people do it the way i do it some people do it really thick um, it's personal preference. I just prefer to work really, really thinly, get my um, white down nice and thin, then use my pink to create the apex in the back third of my nail, and then put my clear on top to sort of give it that added strength and to cover the blend. So when I file, I am not filing away at the blend. You'll see here, I'm just tucking my brush behind that bead and then gently dragging it down. I do blend a little bit at the back there because I didn't want a uh, sort of ridge at the back of the nail. So then I am just gonna place my cuticle bead, tuck my brush behind to make sure that I'm really happy with the placement around the cuticle. I want it to be flush to the cuticle. I don't want any little ridges or any little gaps so that when I am, um, can't, when it starts to grow out, the client doesn't get lifting. Um, I wasn't happy with this. I could see it just wasn't exactly where I wanted it. But once we put the clear on top, it was fine. Um, I'm just going to let you watch this on all fingers, guys. And I will be back in a bit.
Okay, guys, so I have applied all of my acrylic. I have filed and shaped and buffed off of camera. And now we are going in with the design. So I am using CJP Bob here. And I'm putting a, a thin layer of Bob down. Just so that um, I think when I do my crystals and things, I think it, they stick really well in Bob. But Bob does leave a sticky layer. So, after I've applied my bob, I then just apply a no wipe top coat over the top, also from CJP. Um, I wipe the brush off, I just sort of, I don't even apply it, I just float it over the top, then wipe the brush off so that I'm not contaminating the top coat. And uh, and then, yeah, I end up with a, a finish that is, is really strong, it holds well. But there's no sticky layer to it. So here you can't really see. I'm off camera, sorry. I'm just applying a couple of diamonds. We're just putting a few diamonds on here. And then we are going to cover the hole now in pixie crystals. Um, so you'll see we're just sort of finding what ones are right. What ones we're happy with. I need a new crystal picker. So if anybody um, has any recommendations. For something to pick my crystals up with. Please let me know. Because it would be much appreciated. So you see, we've just got a few diamonds on there. Once I'm happy with the placement of where they are, I'm literally just going to sprinkle over. It's a bit hard to see, sorry guys. But I'm just going to sprinkle over all of my pixie crystals. Or well, not all of them. But I'm going to sprinkle over to make sure the nail is fully covered. I'm then just going to make sure that we haven't got loads hanging over the edges. Because that will obviously leave it really, really rough. And, and I hate that look where it's all jaggedy at the edges. And so we're just going to make sure there's none hanging over. I make sure she's happy with it. And I get her to place that into the lamp for a full 60 seconds. Um, I am just, well, LED 60 seconds. UV, I think it's two minutes. But I'm just tidying up all the crystals. And we are going to do this on both pinky fingers. Um, I don't know whether I show you this other pinky finger or not. I think I am now. So, yeah, we are just doing it again on the other pinky finger. Exactly the same thing. We are going to be out of shot the whole time. So, uh, this is great. <laughs> oh, this just is not my lucky day, is it? Hey, you can't even see. There we go. Oh, come in. Come in. A little bit more. A little bit more. No. Right. Well, that didn't work. But I am just literally doing the same thing, the bob, um, top coat, no wipe top coat, and then placing a couple of diamonds on. I think we place four on and then put the um, smother the hole now. Here we go. There we are. Hello. Hello, Mr. Neil. <laughs> Finally. And then we are just going to go back out of shot again to sprinkle all the pixie crystals on, you know great fun um you can get the gist of it and see what i'm doing so i will get my client to cure that in the lamp hello again for 60 seconds and then we will do some on the other now you can see we've already done um i forgot to film it but we've already done a love heart design in um crystals like in diamonds and oh it looks stunning you'll see at the end the love heart and the middle two fingers was just amazing anyway guys i will let you watch this oh here we go so i was going to stop talking then and i didn't need to i am just using a white gel polish here and we are literally just going to do a little bit of freehand painting i don't really know what they call it just a few little squiggles nothing special few little squiggles here and there. I went wrong, so I was like, oh, let's just have an extra squiggly bit. So once I have decided, like, done my pattern and I'm happy with it and and we've got it on the now, um, I before I cure this, I then am going to apply, like, sprinkle glitter over the top of the white gel polish. So you'll see in a minute, look, we're happy with that. We're happy with that design, so we get some like iridescent sort of sparkly glitter, and we are just going to sprinkle it over the top of the wet white gel polish. 
Um, you need to make sure if you have top coated before you do this, that it is either a no wipe top coat or you have removed the sticky layer because the glitter will stick to everything. So you really, really need to make sure that it's either a no wipe top coat or you have removed the sticky layer before you paint your white polish on. Um, so I'm just going to do the same with the other hand. I'm actually keep getting, asking my client, I know it's really naughty, to pull her hands out the lamp. I'm like, bring it out and let me look what I've done. I can't remember what pattern I've done. It was so bad. But I'll let you watch this um, and I'll be back to talk you through the next now. So I have to come back and show you guys. This is when it is cured. And my client was looking and she was like, oh, it looks pretty. Mm, it looks really nice. And she liked it. But all over the ombre, you could see all the glitter. I said to her, just wait. Just watch. We dusted off the nail and I was like, now look. And she was like, oh, my God, that is beautiful. That is exactly what I wanted. Um, so do not panic if when it comes out the light, you can still see glitter everywhere. Once you brush that, look at them. I mean, how stunning do they look? Oh, I just absolutely love them. They look amazing. Oh, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So, yeah, that is that. We are literally going to, I think we're just now going to apply some gems to the thumb. And that is the end of the set. Once we've stuck a couple of gems, we are, here we go again. Using the bob just at the top, I will then go over with the no uh, no wipe top coat, clean off my brush before I put that back into the bottle. And um, yeah, once I've done that, this is the finished set. At, um, I'll let you watch this, guys, and I'll be back in a bit.
so here we are guys here is the finished look um i think they looked absolutely stunning i was really 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 happy with this set um and so was my client they were just beautiful really 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 beautiful um if you like this video please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel and if you have any questions or you want to know anything or want me to do any videos please let me know in the comments below and um i will see you in the next video thank you bye bye